Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous couple of videos, you saw that there's some interesting tricks you can really impress your friends with, but you can actually make your own trick. How do you do that? Well, this is how you do it. Let's again say that you ask to pick the number between 11 and 98. So let's say we pick the number 40. And at the same time, let's pick the number X. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, add 4 or maybe subtract 4 this time. So subtract 4. So 40 minus 4 gives us 36. That would be X minus 4. So now let's double the number. All right, so double the number. That gives us 72. And double this number, that gives us 2X minus 8. Now let's, uh, let's add 2 to the number. All right, so add 2. That gives us 74. And add 2 to this, that gives us 2X minus 6. Now let's tell them multiply the number by 5. So multiply by 5. So multiply this by 5, that's 350, that would be 370. Multiply this by 5, that gives us 10x minus 30. Now we can say subtract another 8. So subtract 8. 8, so it gives us... Uh, 362, subtract 8 from this, that gives us 10x minus 38. Now tell them, multiply by 10. So when you do that, you get 3620, and then you multiply that by 10, and you get 100x minus 380. And now you have to get rid of the 380, to do that, you have to add 380. So you tell them, well, add 380. So add 380. That's based upon getting rid of this. So add 380 to this, you get 4,000. Add 380 to this, you get 100x. And now you tell them to divide by 100. Which means you end up at 40, which is the number you started with, because we need to divide this by 100, by 100 you get x which is the number you started with. So you can see, you can come up with just about any, any combination as long as you, at the end, make the adjustment over here, and divide by 100, and you're all set. Now, it doesn't have to be 100. The reason why we have to divide by 100 is because we doubled, we multiply times 5, and we multiply times 10. So together, that is multiplying times 100. So that's why at the end, we have to divide by 100. If we didn't double it here, then we have to divide by 50. But it's easier to divide by 10 or divide by 100, so that's why you make up the trick in such a way that at the end, you get rid of one or two zeros by dividing by 10 or dividing by 100. That makes it a lot easier to work with the numbers. And that's how you make your very own trick. 